Hello everyone. Hey, we are standing here with my amazing friend Lebo, as you know, a casual movie and Cheryl. Oh, his wife! You got married today. It was yes. beautiful. Yes, yes. Yeah. very special. And I want to say something. God is speaking and I got the honor to, to be there and marry them. And, and what is beautiful is how God is speaking. And when you make a big decision like this, you need to hear from God. You need to hear from God and how they met each other. For me, it was so beautiful. So we just want to share this testimony. Seek first the kingdom of God, do his will, and then the rest will be added to you. And he had been seeking God and look at that princess he have got there. And she had been seeking God and look at that prince and it's beautiful. A few years ago, we were at a kickstart in Selham in Holland. Mm. And I've been traveling with Lebo all over the world. And we have been in many countries and doing a movie and filming. And then that young girl, she came and said, not, like, not, not in dress like this. She just came and said hi or greet me. When I said hi to her, God spoke to me. Mm. God said, she is going to be Lebo's wife. Mm. And I heard it and I was like, Whoa. Whoa. So while she was talking, I actually didn't listen to what she was saying so much. I was just focused on, whoa, she's beautiful. It's Lebo's wife. She's amazing. This is going to be Lebo's wife. And after we talked, I was like, where's Lebo? Where's Lebo? And then I found Lebo. And do you remember what I said? Yeah, you said to me, yeah, I just met that girl. She's amazing. You should marry her. Yeah. So I said, I just met a girl. She's going to be your wife. You're going to marry her. Yeah, yeah. But she have not met her yet. But yeah. what happened then later? Okay, what happened was actually... I was sitting and then she came and sat in front of me and the funny thing is there was 900 people to that conference actually so when she she talked with me she was sitting and talking with me as soon as she, she was sitting and talking with me I just felt God's presence somehow and I, and I just felt like a cloud hit me with peace joy and love and I just thought wow God is this the one that you have for me and I, I almost, it was so much for me, so I needed to go out and get some air. So I actually got outside. And as soon as I got outside, that's when I met Torben. And then he said, he just met her. And that, uh, that is going to be my wife. I thought, that's so strange. Why do you say that? And he have never said such things before mm. to me, ever. And out of 900 people, it was the same. Yeah. And, and um, I, I discovered that because then you met each other and you talked, but I didn't see them talk together during the week. But then on the way in the weekend, but on the way home, my, my daughter-in-law, Hannah, was saying, Lebo met a girl, Lebo met a girl. I said, who? Who is she? Yeah. And she told a picture, and when I saw the picture, I recognized it was you too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so two years ago, God spoke to me, spoke to you. How is it for you? To be married is amazing. It's amazing, <laughs> it's amazing. And, and today we got the honor to do it outside here in this beautiful place. And uh, yes. God is good. I said to Lebo, now you may kiss your bride. Yes. And you kissed her. Yes. And that was our first kiss. First kiss. Yeah. I yeah, love really that. Fun. I love that. God needs a new generation of people who are seeking God's will and who live a holy life. And, and I've talked with other people at this wedding who are not Christian, who have heard that it was the first kiss. And they're just like, whoa, this is so beautiful because it is beautiful. So now you're going to have an amazing life together. Yes. So uh, Mrs. and Mr. and Mrs. De si De Silva. De Silva. <laughs> ah, it's so beautiful. God bless. So I would say find the right person. See God. Yes. Not just jump into it. See God and do it according to the word of God. And what was beautiful yesterday, we had an extra little ceremony where mm. her parents were sitting on one side, her family, and his family on another side, and they gave gift to each other and met as families. Mm. It was so, so beautiful. Yeah. Because so this beautiful. is a marriage between two people, and it's two families who come together in front of people and God. Yeah. Another thing I also want to say, yeah, like he said, seek God. And it's also really a good advice I want, we want to give you because we have been waiting 25 years. We, we never went to a relationship. I've never been in a relationship before. She has never been in a relationship before. And then we were just seeking him and God, he brought us together. Yeah. 
It's, uh, it's amazing to wait and it's really worth it to wait. It's amazing to share things the first time. Yeah. It's amazing to know that you're a first choice mm. in, a, in a relationship. Yes. And, yeah. And it was not always easy to not kiss this handsome face, but uh, <laughs> I'm really happy that uh, we have been waiting. We have been waiting, that was really good. I would say for me, some of you heard my story, but, but God also spoke very clear to me who was going to be my wife. I have lived a life in sin before I met God, but there's forgiveness for you who have done it. But my wife have ever never kissed anyone else than me. I'm the only one in the world also who have kissed her. She grew up with God. I just want to say this is how it should be. So are you holy? Keep it. Keep yourself pure for mm. that one person. Mm. Have you done something? Come to Christ, get washed away, and then start a new life. Yes. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> God bless. Yeah. The, then the last thing I'm going to say is by the authority from God and by the promise in the Word of God, I now announce you as husband and wife, Mrs. And miss the silver, and now you can kiss your bride. <laughs>